Okay, welcome subscribers. Today we are going to be learning about another type of transformation that's called a reflection. So we're gonna start with what a reflection is. A reflection, we're on slide number 15. A reflection is a mirror image of a figure over a line called the line of reflection. So for example, this triangle has been reflected over the y-axis. So the line of reflection is the y-axis in this example. Slide 16. So here we have same images. The first image, when we reflect it to a new location, the first image, and I don't know which is which here, doesn't say really, let's say the first image was the orange one. That would be the pre-image and you'd be reflecting it to the green image and that would be the image. So the pre-image pre is before, it's the first one. So open the folders below. So go ahead and click on the arrow and it will open up these coordinates. And we're just gonna take a look at the coordinates for each of these two triangles and see how they are related. So we can see that, for example, this ordered pair right here on the green triangle is at one, five. That same location on this triangle here is at negative one, five. And if we take a look at the coordinates on the next slide, slide 17, we can see how they are related. So they are exactly the same, except for the x coordinate is from positive to negative. So if I go back to the graphs here, you can see the x axis is positive over here and it's negative to the left of the y axis. So this point, when it's reflected over the y axis, has the same y value, but the x value has changed the sign. So this point is at two, three, and this point over here on the, re on the orange triangle is at negative two, three. How are we doing? Good? All right, so that is a reflection over the y-axis. I'm gonna come back to those slides in just a second, but for the sake of my video, we're gonna go to slide 21 and take a look at a reflection now over the x-axis. So you can reflect over any line, it's just uh, phones should be away. Okay, so type the coordinates in the purple table below to make it a reflection of the green pre-image. So if this is a pre-image and we're reflecting it over the x-axis now to create a purple image that's a reflection. So what's gonna happen? The x-coordinates for example, this point right here, um, this ordered pair would be two, three. If I reflect this point over the x-axis, the x-coordinate is going to stay the same and the y-coordinate is now gonna be opposite sign. So this point would be at two, negative three. So we're just gonna take all those ordered pairs and we're gonna change the y-value from positive to negative. Or if it was originally negative, we change it, the y-value to positive but all the x coordinates would stay the same. So the x coordinates are still four, one, two, four. So I'm just gonna type those in. Four, one, two, four. And I'm gonna change the signs of all the y values. Negative five, negative three, negative three, did I do that right? And we can see it's um, these order pairs have been created over here. The, segments have been drawn, we can see it's a reflection over the x-axis. I usually don't go through all this when I'm drawing um, a reflection. What I usually do is count how far away a point is from whatever line I'm, uh, I'm reflecting over. So for example, that point is three away from the line. So when I reflect it, it should also be three away from that line. And that is slide number 21. We're gonna go to slide 25. Lastly, you can reflect over any line. And the next two um, common lines to reflect over besides the x-axis and the y-axis are y equals x, line y equals x, which is from algebra one, it has a slope of one because the one is the slope, it's the number in front of the x, the coefficient. So this is y equals x. It's y equals x because every single point or ordered pair on that line has an x coordinate and a y coordinate that's the same. So that point is at four, four. That point is at one, one, okay? Y equals negative x would be the next most common this way. 
slope, a negative slope, right? Because the slope is positive, goes up this direction, right? So here's, here's our car, and we start on the left. We read from left to right, so we also do math from left to right. And the car, if he's going uphill, it's positive. If he's going downhill, it's negative. So this one is asking, so in this slide, you're supposed to kind of play around and see how, how do I get this red triangle reflected over this line y equals x? And when you play around with it, did you guys get this? Have you practiced it or kind of tried different things? What you'll notice is that when you have a reflection, this point here, for example, is at 2, 1. If you flip those coordinates to 1, 2, it's reflected over this line y equals x. So it's all the same coordinates. They're just the, the x and the y coordinates have switched. So I am just going to take all these coordinates and switch the x and the y. 2, 4, 2, 2, and then 1, 2. You can see it reflects over the line y equals x. And here is a better graph in the next slide. That's it. Reflections in 6 minutes and 20 seconds.